Uh, time to talk business now, and uh, with me today, Professor John Wilson, who is head of the Salford Business School at the University of Salford, uh, so well qualified to discuss what's going on in the world of business at the moment. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Um, an awful lot to discuss today, but uh, internet shopping is back on the agenda again. It's really taking off, isn't it? Was it the busiest day of the year for internet shopping last Re year? Reportedly, uh, certainly very difficult, I guess, to, uh, to verify these things, but certainly that was what was being said. Clearly, in the run-up to Christmas, uh, many, many companies will be looking to do extremely well on internet shopping. I think, to some extent, it may also reflect the fact that many people are cash-strapped, and so they're looking to get the best possible deal that they can in a, in, a, in a manner that's convenient. So, certainly, at the moment, the figures are looking extremely impressive, and a number of companies are looking to see So, if you are a regular sales. traditional retailer who has an awful lot of floor space for which you have to pay rent, and obviously an online presence, are you looking with a, with a worried eye over your shoulder at companies who are simply operating online and don't have all the other overheads. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, increasingly, people are looking to the internet to do their shopping. This uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be good news, of course, for, uh, for shops in, uh, in the city centres. So certainly, to some extent, I think companies will be looking at that. Against that, of course, it's also an opportunity for companies to exploit. The very same companies yeah. that were looking for, com for customers to come into their shops will also be looking to, to do business over the internet. Cutthroat world, and it's uh, good for us who are spending. Yes. Uh, a local company doing very well, though, Boohoo.com. They're a fashion house. Uh, they're investing half a million in their brand. They're an online women's wear retailer. And, uh, Gemma, who works here, will know them very well. Uh, they've seen growth and they're investing in their staff, so there's money to be made out there, even in tough times, isn't there? Yeah, I think certainly for certain companies that, uh, that can be seen. I think the, uh, the lesson there is, is to find a niche market, a niche product, yeah and to exploit it to its full potential. And I think if those things are right, then there is still uh, business that can be done. But, of course, in general, I think it's easy also still to forget that conditions are not good and, uh, and after um, Christmas could come something of a consumer hangover and I feel, I feel people still need to be careful about the prospects of 2010. Do you think, in the run-up to Christmas, giving time to, 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 uh, money is tight, that uh, retail shoppers are going to wait and sort of wait for the retailers to cut and cut and cut and cut and just hold back, or are they going to get their shopping in now? Well, again, on the, on the basis of the, uh, the internet sales, it looks as if people are starting early. Uh, but also, I think you can see today that there is uh, an attempt by the government to get more people uh, involved on the internet. I think, again, uh, we need to remember that millions of people actually don't use the internet. Most of us may take it for granted, but many people don't use it. No, Martha Lane Fox, who founded LastMinute.com, is sort of spearheading this campaign, isn't it, to try and get more people online? Because That's, lots aren't. We forget that. We do forget that. I think there are many people in many communities where uh, this sort of option is not open to them. And so, again, uh, for, I think, large parts of the economy, people are still maybe going to be excluded from... Uh, the sort of Christmas uh, expenditure that others can enjoy. Uh, uh, finally, and very briefly, I know it's not strictly a business story, but it's, it's, a, it's an economic indicator. House prices have gone up again, which is good, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, it is good, it is, uh, good news, uh, perhaps, but again, you need to get behind this and ask why. And I think, to some extent, it, it possibly reflects the fact that companies... Uh, are trying to reduce the hours that their workers work rather than reduce their workforce. And that in turn means that people may be able to survive current economic conditions without necessarily having to sell their houses. So even that can be an indicator of an economic weakness. Well, as always, uh, uh, there are two sides to every story yes. on that one, Professor. Thanks very much indeed for your insight. Nice to have met you.